We are back this week with the latest news from the world of movies and series. Included are two pieces of news about different Spider-Man projects, the sequel to an action film series with Vin Diesel, a first image of Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn, and a new cast member for Deadpool 3. We also talk about an I Am Legend sequel with Will Smith and Michael B. Jordan and reveal why the upcoming How to Train Your Dragon remake is very different from the previous films. Have fun watching! Many are already eagerly awaiting the upcoming Deadpool 3. A number of newcomers have joined the film series, featuring the somewhat unusual Marvel hero, most notably Wolverine star Hugh Jackman. The 54-year-old Australian is currently doing extensive workouts to prepare for the role as Wolverine, as Jackman impressively demonstrated on social media a couple of days ago. The training seems to be paying off so far. A small dig at his colleague Ryan Reynolds was not to be missed. After all, he is a mere eight years younger and thus no match for Jackman. It was only a few days later that it was announced who exactly Reynolds and Jackman have to get into shape for. Deadline recently revealed the signing of the antagonist of the two lead characters. It is Emma Corrin, who was already impressive as Lady Di in Netflix's The Crown. She is supposed to follow in the footsteps of the superior villain Cable. This is not so simple after all. The villain was not only popular with the audience, but also gave the almost immortal Deadpool a hard time. Unfortunately, it is not revealed yet which character Corrin will take over exactly. However, the team around director Sean Levy and lead actor Ryan Reynolds will surely find a suitable candidate from the Marvel Universe. For Corrin herself, Deadpool 3 could be the final leap into the realms of the big Hollywood movies, if she is able to convince the audience adequately. If current rumors are to be believed, the Crown star could assume the role of the sorceress Spiral, who was originally captured by Mojo, already hinted at in Deadpool 2, and later banished to Earth by the ruler of Mojo World. In the original comics, she later becomes part of the X-Force and would even stand alongside her former adversary, Deadpool. It is worth noting, however, that this is pure speculation so far. We are looking forward to more news. Deadpool 3 is scheduled for release on November 8, 2024. The HBO series The Last of Us has become one of the most popular series in recent years. Those responsible also owe this to the creators of the video games because the duo of Neil Druckmann and Bruce Straley was inspired by a very specific film during the creation process of the first game. We are talking about the post-apocalyptic drama I Am Legend with Will Smith, who plays a gifted scientist as well as one of the last surviving humans. Accompanied by his dog Sam, he conducts research in the devastated urban canyons of New York City to find a cure for the altered measles virus that has almost entirely turned humanity into zombie-like infected people. The movie was mostly well-received upon its release in 2008, but to this day, many fans are bothered by the ending of the movie, which results in the death of the main character. In an alternate ending, it was opted to have Dr. Robert Neville survive instead and make his way to Vermont with Anna and Ethan. Nevertheless, this version is a lot darker, as Neville realizes that the infected have their own social structures and thus will sooner or later overrun the few uninfected people. As screenwriter Akiva Goldsman now reports, a sequel is currently being worked on that focuses more on the book by Richard Matheson. As a result, the ending of the original film will be disregarded and the survival of Robert Neville will be considered as canon instead. Likewise, he revealed that several decades will have passed between Part 1 and Part 2, so the protagonist will be significantly older. This also fits with the signing of MCU star Michael B. Jordan, who joins the cast as a newcomer and is rumored to play the son of the lead character, Robert Neville. Sadly, there is no release date for I Am Legend 2 yet, but we'll be sure to keep you posted. Joker from 2019 is the most successful R-rated film of all time. The film, which is separate from the DCEU and thus stands on its own, has grossed a total of more than 1 billion US dollars, and thus almost 300 million dollars more than the runner-up Deadpool 2. Expectations for the sequel are correspondingly high, but so far there is still no first trailer or teaser. Instead, a first image from the film has already been published, showing main character Arthur Fleck getting a shave. Director Todd Phillips has now followed up with a second image, in which Lady Gaga can now be spotted in her new role for the first time. Fittingly, for Valentine's Day last Tuesday, the two characters are looking deep into each other's eyes. 
A more detailed look at Harley Quinn's outfit is unfortunately not available yet, which is why it is not easy to tell exactly how well the A Star Is Born actress is doing in her role. Since the story of Joker, Foley Adu, is supposed to include some musical parts, it's fortunate that Lady Gaga already has valuable experience in this area. The sequel is presumably about Arthur Fleck getting to know Dr. Harleen Quinzel, a psychiatrist who is in charge of the patient. Later, she falls madly in love with the Joker and thus becomes delusional herself, hence the title Foley Adu, which translates as Madness by Two. She then also appears under her more familiar name, Harley Quinn. How much the movie will implement from the comic original, however, is still unclear. Joker 2 Foley Adu will run in cinemas from October 4th, 2024. After Spider-Man No Way Home and its multiverse adventure at the end of 2021 resulted in a huge hit for the MCU, the movie series starring Tom Holland is far from over. Rumor has it that three more movies featuring the MCU Spider-Man will be released, and now there is some early information about the upcoming Spider-Man 4. This was officially announced by Marvel CEO Kevin Feige in an interview with Entertainment Weekly. Those responsible already have a story and big ideas in mind for Spider-Man 4. Currently, the script is also being written, meaning that a potential start of filming before the end of this year is entirely possible. The film's plot is said to be strongly linked to the upcoming series Daredevil Born Again. Daredevil actor Charlie Cox was already seen in a brief appearance in Spider-Man No Way Home. It is also suspected that the upcoming movies with Tom Holland will focus less on other MCU heroes who stand by the sometimes awkward Peter Parker. Instead, the emphasis might be placed on other characters from the gigantic Spider-Man universe, similar to what is already the case with the forthcoming Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. It would also be beneficial for the character development of the main character not to have to rely on the likes of Doctor Strange all the time. So far, there is no release date for Spider-Man 4, but we will keep you posted. We have known about the upcoming Amazon series, Silk Spider Society, since early 2021, which is the result of a collaboration between Sony and the streaming provider. As we found out at the end of last week, Amazon will not leave it at one series and has now secured the rights to Spider-Man Noir. Unlike Silk Spider Society, the new project is to be released in a live-action format and will realistically present New York in the 1930s. This cooperation is only feasible because Sony still owns the movie rights for the Spider-Man universe, making it possible to make movies and series about the friendly neighborhood spider outside of Disney+. Spider-Man Noir already made a debut appearance in Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, in which he played a part alongside numerous other versions of the superhero. In the original, the Spider-Man Noir was voiced by none other than Nicolas Cage, which is why there is currently some speculation that Cage might actually take the lead role in the live-action series. The rumors are also fueled by an interview conducted in early January. Cage expressed great interest in the character to Screen Rant, even though he will not be returning for the animated sequel Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Despite being set in the 1930s, Spider-Man Noir is a comparatively modern phenomenon, as the comic book series was published in 2009. The screenplay for Spider-Man Noir was written by Mortal Kombat author Oren Uziel, while Phil Lord, Chris Miller, and ex-Sony boss Amy Pascal are responsible for the production. A release date has not been set yet, but we will keep you up to date. Hollywood star Vin Diesel has been known for many years, above all for his involvement in the popular Fast and Furious franchise. He first played the character of Dom Toretto in 2001, and now, over two decades later, he is starring in the last two installments of Fast and Furious 10 and 11, bringing the film series to a close. What is often overlooked in the process is that even before the first part, Diesel was already starring in another, now also well-known movie series, namely Pitch Black. The first of three installments was released in 2000 and laid the groundwork for the Chronicles of Riddick. For many years now, people have been waiting for a fourth part of the brutal science fiction film series around the anti-hero Richard B. Riddick. Then just a few days ago, to the joy of many fans, the fourth installment was officially announced with the title Riddick Furia. According to the official synopsis, the lead character is supposed to return to his home world, although he no longer has any memories of it. On site, he meets other Furians, 
whose existence is threatened by a new mutual enemy. Riddick also discovers that he probably has more in common with these Furians than he initially thinks. Besides Vin Diesel, who has been regularly promoting a Riddick 4 for some time now, director and screenwriter David Toohey is also coming back to direct as he did for the previous installments. The 67-year-old's announced goal is to explore the origins of the protagonist in more detail. Whether Diesel and Tui will succeed in attracting audiences back to the cinema more than 10 years after the rather average third part remains to be seen. A release date has not been seen as of yet. Nobody probably expected this at the moment. There will be a new How to Train Your Dragon movie in just about two years' time. In contrast to the popular animated franchise, however, there will be a decisive change. The movie will be shot entirely in live-action format and thus diverges from the previous three features. It was announced that Dean DeBlois will be devoting himself to the project as director and screenwriter. The 52-year-old has directed every How to Train Your Dragon installment so far, making him the right choice for fans of the franchise. Still, it should be noted that DeBlois' last live-action movie was quite some time ago, 16 years to be exact, and that was a documentary about the band Seeger Rose. In terms of story, the upcoming film is supposed to be a remake. The animated film series continues to stand on its own and is not directly related to it, although the protagonist Hiccup will certainly be the main focus again. Whether those responsible will be successful with their live-action film is something we'll be able to find out in barely two years. How to Train Your Dragon is scheduled to hit theaters on March 14, 2025. If you want to know more about future projects from Hollywood, you should check out our compilation of all the Super Bowl 2023 trailers. Included are trailers for some of the best upcoming movies such as Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, Fast X, Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny, and many, many more. Thanks for watching and see you next time.